and we're going to discuss about the effects of recession on Honda. Honda is a Japanese corporation which manufactures cars and motorbikes. It is a public company offering stocks, shares, bonds and loans for sale through a stock exchange. It is the sixth largest automobile manufacturer in the world. Honda produces garden equipment, personal watercraft, marine engines and power generators. It also created Azimo, a robot in 2000 and it has been involved in artificial intelligence since 1986. Right now we have Jonathan here to talk about Porter's Five Forces on Honda. Porter's Five Forces for Honda. Looking at the threats of the new entrants, we have economies of scale and access to new industry, which means that new entrants would find it difficult to enter our market and it would be difficult for them to um, have barriers and we'll have a barriers to entry for it. And looking at the bargaining power of suppliers, it would be low because we have they have little power in the market and this means that we demand more for our product and the suppliers who make our product, we expect, to, expect them to make it in environmental management standard. Bargaining power of customers is high because due to recession, um, our sales actually fall and also um, there are few demonic buyers but there are more sellers so which means that um, customers do have a um, high power in the market I look at the threats of substitutes I say it's medium because um, there are subways and buses and trains and also the petrol prices are rising so obviously people could change to alternatives now and looking at the competitive rivalry between existing players it's medium because due to recession, um, the sales in the US dropped by 30%. And looking at Hyundai and Asian motor car industry, they're doing well in the market as well. And also, um, the sales for Honda actually is 4,758, which dropped from the previous year of 38.43% in the same year last year in India. Now we're going to go over to Garish, who's done a pestle analysis on Honda. Using the PESTEL model, there are many factors in the macro environment that will affect the decisions of the managers of any organization. Here is a quick look at some of these. Now we're going to go and talk to Jessica, who's done a SORT analysis on Honda. So we're now going to be looking at the SWOT analysis. The SWOT analysis is very important as we can understand where Honda stands in this deep um, time of crisis. Um, in strengths, we find innovation. Honda is also a well-established company, which means people know it and people will buy their cars. Um, the public shared equity is very important because um, almost everybody can contribute uh, to the wealth of uh, Honda and get their money back. Uh, continuous investments in technology is one of the strongest points of Honda and they create unique products which means competitors will have a hard time competing with them. However, the weaknesses of Honda are, for example, Honda requires a deposit where Nissan, which is a competitor, doesn't. Um, there aren't great styles of design which means you won't get a good value for your money. Could improve is through these opportunities that we've found with the SWOT analysis. Um, they could develop further advanced cars, which means less pollution, which is something people really care about nowadays. Also, they could exploit some cheap labor from China, which is really close to Japan, and that will reduce their costs. And they could cater needs for both low and middle class, which means making cars for um, to cater more needs. Okay, in France, we see the economic slowdown, so the recession as a big good for our company, and also the government is taking increases on the taxes to import goods in the country, which means a rise in costs for Honda. Back on Honda's financial data, Honda is the second largest automaker after Toyota in Japan. The sales fell by 32% in since the 2000, that has been the lowest it has dropped. It has been the biggest percentage drop since 1981. It cut domestic production by 21,000 units, which is 12% year on year. It pulled out of F1 racing to concentrate on selling and making its products. 4,300 contract staff were out of work in Japan by April, 
and also the Honda effect, where, which is uh, very well known, where Honda found itself making lots and lots of products which was a stacking up but were not able to sell. Therefore, this led to the company shutting down for several months. Thank you for your attention.